and in the last lecture we created the controller bones and made them all nice and red very cool and uh, in this in this lecture we are going to add some custom bone shapes kind of like we did with the for the gun rig as well so we're going to add some uh, some cool shapes to them make them stand out a bit and uh, yeah make them a bit easier to select too so let's start by going to object mode and let's move the 3D cursor to the center by pressing Shift S and 1. And let's go ahead and create a new shape. So Shift A, uh, Mesh, and let's make a UV sphere. We can just place it uh, a bit to the right here. And let's also go ahead and make a cube. Scale it down a bit. And we can actually make a few cubes here because we're going to need one cube for the finger controllers. We're going to need one cube for the hand control and one cube for the upper arm control as well. So let's go ahead and make two more copies here. Let's duplicate those twice. And let's also apply the scale for each. So apply. All right, and make sure that they are all set to one at scale here. So they're, they're all uniform. And let's, we can basically do what we did for the, the gun model here. So let's go ahead and select the whole sphere and delete some parts of it. So we get this cool kind of, cool kind of shape. And I mean, you, you can use any shape you want. If you, you want to make it a bit more fancy, you can kind of mess around with these, make them a bit cooler. Um, you know, feel, feel free to, to improve this. Uh, that's a bit too cool, I think. Let's just, <laughs> let, let's keep it a bit more normal here. I think that's good. I, li I like this shape. It's kind of my go-to, go-to custom shape here, as you might, may have noticed. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and assign that. I usually use these these sphere shapes for the, the pole targets because it's really easy to, to select. So let's go to post mode by pressing shift or control tab and select the bone. Go to the uh, bone properties and at the bottom here, go to viewport display and oh, Right, we need. To <laughs> we also need to name the, the shapes. That's very important. Let's name the shapes actually. So let's call this one sphere shape, and let's call the cubes cube shape O one and cube shape O two and cube sh cube cube shape. O3, like that. And just like we did before, we can actually place these in their own uh, group. So press B to, to box select, select all of them, and press M, and then choose new collection. And let's call this one uh, controller bone shapes. Actually, custom bone shapes sounds better. Custom bone shapes. There we go. And now we can assign <laughs> it to the bone. So go back to the rig here and select it. Go to post mode, select the bone, and set the custom object to the sphere shape. And it's very small by default, so let's scale it up a bit. Um, I think around five. That's pretty good, I think. Looks nice. And now let's select the upper arm control here. 
so we can either select it here but this it's pretty hard to select when they're kind of on top of each other like this so let's go ahead and select it here in the outliner let's go ahead and set this one to let's use cube shape one I think let's enable wireframe and scale it up a bit that's a bit too much it's like three yeah I think that's pretty good and let's go to the hand control here and let's set it to custom cube shape O2 and enable wireframe and scale it up a bit so we can set it to like four and let's actually edit uh, the cube uh, itself here so let's select the cube press A to select it and we can go ahead and scale it a bit on the different different axis here and you can actually move it to an edit mode if you want to move it like this and kind of align it with the hand a bit better yeah I think that's pretty good I usually make them a bit larger than the actual hand mesh itself or like the actual model so it kind of uh, goes out outside of the, the model itself makes it a bit e easier to select as well so something like this I think is pretty good and we can actually hide the, the, the shapes that we we already use so let's just go ahead and hide these by pressing the I here and Lastly, we want to select the, so go back to post mode, and we want to select the finger control bones, and let's set the custom object to cube shape 3, and set it to wireframe, and 2, okay, that's a bit small, let's set it to 5, that's good enough. And let's just repeat this for all of them. So select each bone, cube shape 3, and scale them up a bit. And if you wanna if you don't want the bone the bone length to be a factor in the scaling, you can actually turn it off here, scale bone to bone length, and it's gonna make it huge, but we can just scale it back down. And set it to like 0.2 so now we can actually use this the same value for all these fingers and it's it's always going to look the same which is pretty useful so let's go with like 0.17 uh, a bit bigger 0.18 uh, maybe a bit bigger actually 0.2 all right let's go with 0.2 So point two and all right, and now we have some nice shapes for all the bones here. We can actually make this one a bit bigger. Let's just scale it. Oh, set to like 0.3. Okay, 0.25. Something like that. So now we have some nice shapes here for all the fingers. And um, and it's gonna be really easy to select because we can we can easily tell which one is which. So this one is clearly the hand, this one is the thumb, and this is the pole target, and so on. So it's gonna be really easy to select them now. Now that, that we have these nice shapes here and yeah we can just go ahead and hide these so 
you can close the custom bone shapes collection and press the eye icon here to to hide them just like that and that's it that's all for this lecture we have created the, the custom shapes here and in the next lecture we are going to uh, mirror the armature and make make the same one but for the right side instead so yeah i'll see you in the next lecture <laughs>